No, nah, look, we obviously started quite well with the ball bats the first time we got it, and then um, after that, uh, any opportunity we got, we, we turned the ball over too meekly. But uh, you know, the, probably the biggest thing for us at the moment is, is you know, obviously we've got some better players there, and uh, sides are, are obviously, uh, especially after our first two weeks, sides and good sides are coming to play us. You know, they're not. Uh, they're not coming, sort of thinking if they go three quarter pace or eighty five percent they can beat us anymore. You know, which was yeah, you know, we're being honest, that would have been the case last year. You know, the real good sides would have thought if we we're at eighty five or ninety, we're going to have a bit too much. For them. And a lot of our players that have been in the system for two or three years, they've got to raise their water level a little bit. You know, a lot of the guys that have been with us for a while, you know, they've got the talent in them. It's just they're probably going into a into a new field now where uh, winning is or competing in some small areas of the game consistently for a long period of time is very, very important. And, you know, when the pace of the game raised the day or Jack DeBellin raised the pace of the game, you know, he was probably the one that raised the pace with his defence. We struggled to go with it for a period. And then we were kicking off the back foot and Junior's under a hell of a lot of pressure. And then we'd have had a kicking under no pressure. And then KP's under a hell of a lot of pressure, you know. And then the snowball got going. And, um, that was pretty much a bit of a summation of the game from my behalf. No, nah, he's buggered, mate. Yeah, he's done his cruise shit, unfortunately. Yeah, so it was a, a bad day all around for us. Is there, is there the other oh, I didn't. I didn't ask which one. I'm not sure which one it was, but he's, you know, he's had a bit of a history there, unfortunately, and he's obviously devastated. Yeah. You go back. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We're, it's funny, we're only, not funny, it's devastating, but we are actually talking about it last night. Granny gets the boys doing a couple of interviews, the new boys, and you know, talking about how good it's been that he's come back from what he's been through, so... Uh, yeah, it's a bit funny how, how that's worked out. The next day, he does it again, we're, we're shattered for him, and um, he's worked so hard in the pre-season, he's, you know, he's starting to find some real form, so... Yeah, we're absolutely shattered for, for Tao. Oh look, it's it's an area where we are we were skinny coming into the year. Um, we won't lie about that. That's uh, so obviously any time anyone gets hurt, and any long term, you know, we only got two last night. You know, that's you don't like to see any player, any especially when you start to have a build a relationship with one who's been through a long period of time. So it's certainly not a a. a, a a good thing for anyone, you know, we're just more disappointed for Tao because obviously he's been through three before and now he's gone through two years of playing consistently and and he was starting to, you know, against Canberra he was showing for us what he was going to be and again he started the game today was outstanding so you just feel for him and his partner and his little one and his family because, you know, they are serious injuries and they are a part of the game and, you know, same with the two Manly boys last night, you know, it's it's tough on, on, on the players, you know, to go through those things this time of the year and, you know, from a club's point of view, you know we've you know we've been looking out there for outside backs, you know, quite regularly. But um, you know we've got a good young one coming next year. But in the short term, you know we've got Kenny Co. who's not playing, and one or two of the younger ones are holding their gloves up out there. So Nick Meaney's out injured at the moment. Or Nick could probably find his way getting a chance as well. But um, yeah, these are a part of the game. We just got to deal with them best we all can. Oh look, I'd sort of leave that with Moons, you know. So I think you know. Uh, people know we're looking and at some stage, you know, there's always unhappy players at clubs when they're not getting to play, so you never know what might fall out these days, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. That wasn't that, no, he's devastated. Yeah. yeah, and that'd be probably being nice about it. He's, whatever was way worse than that, that's what he is, yeah. Yeah, they yeah they did, and you know forwards uh, they look like Superman when when they get all the ball as well. So uh, they definitely won the possession, and um, you know they grew an extra leg with that. You know any forward 
Fresh forwards are obviously going to do some damage and, and we're on the back foot a fair bit of that due to our own little discipline with the ball. And um, you know, The last two weeks we haven't completed well. The first two weeks we completed really well and got some opportunities to put our attack. You know, we've got plenty of good attacking players but it's a long night for us if, we, if we're not completing. Yeah, look, he's he's got some... Obviously, he's bringing a lot to the table for us at the moment, Baz. Um, and, you know, he's he's competing well, he's brave, he's doing all the things that we want. And as you said, he was... Again, he was in our you know, top couple of players. Uh, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, as we get better and we get better combinations, I'm sure we can use him better. And, and look, Caelan will learn by watching... You know, he'll see areas of his game and attack where he can help himself get involved more as well. So, look, he's certainly a player that, you know, I think everyone would agree we're great, grateful for having, but where he is at the moment and where he's going to get to, I think he's only just scratching the surface at the moment. The Roosters last week, obviously, Saints this week, where do you look at the Dragons and see where they're at? Oh, look, it's a really funny competition at the moment, Baz, you know, I mean, it was, you know, I mean, I... You look at Cronulla at the moment, Cronulla's not attacking as great as they'd like, but because they're tough and so gritty, they've won their last two games, they've scored one try each week, you know, and those good footy clubs that have got that sort of bit of proud history over the last sort of five or six years of hanging in there are winning games, and then you've got, obviously, you know, the Warriors and uh, sides like ourselves and down the bottom that have re recruited from some good clubs. Um, uh, are in better situations whilst we've had you know, a loss today which we're not happy about we're still in a far better situation than we've been at any stage in the last three years so um, it's uh, the comps how it's going to unfold uh, if someone had told me that Parra are going to be 0-3 and, and the Cowboys 1-3 and, one and three at this stage there I would have been thinking I think you'll be wrong there you know so I'm not sure where the comps head and all I know is that it's a, it's a lot harder for sides to win and I think we're a good example of watching how the Roosters turned up to play us and the Dragons turned up to play us. The Dragons turned up today with a far different attitude to the way they turned up to play us twice last year, I can tell you that. And that's something where, as I said, our younger players that have been in our system for a long period have got to learn to lift their, their water level a bit and that'll help us compete a lot better because at the end of the day, you know, we need to, we need to put ourselves in a position in the last five and ten minutes a game so that we're right in it and then you know back the talents of Mitchell and Cale and them blokes to get us over the line and you know I was dark on myself after the game because you know the last few weeks we've made a point of taking the two and at 18-12 when we're on the back foot you know I, I should have forced hard to take the two there and then it would have been 18-14 then we could have took the two at 18-16 you know and it does change the flow of the game does it make some attitude of some of our players out there any better no it doesn't but the scoreboard is the greatest builder of pressure going and you know could have put St George in some sort of doubt so I, I sort of look at myself there and I was disappointed I didn't force that a lot harder you know so especially with the newer combinations we're building the way the game is today there's a lot more penalties at the moment and as I said there's Cronulla's won their last two games uh, scoring a try each week but on the other side we've got to get our defence better so that those two points mean something as well.